Before we get started, I'm going to shake my brows a little bit. This look is going to be like very Victoria's Secret inspired, but like the fall edition. It's not gonna give summer. It's gonna give. It's gonna give winter angel. I was really inspired to do this look because it's now October. It's giving fall and I wanted to do just something like really kind of like cool toned and plummy and chic. Okay, so I just put on some sunscreen and I'm gonna go in with foundation, shake. Not too much. I'm just mainly like on my cheeks where I'm a little red. I'm going through this era where I'm breaking out. <laughs> it's horrendous. I don't know what's going on. I think it's because the season changed and now like my cleanser is too severe for my skin type this is what happens when like having problematic skin is so annoying because you think you found a good routine and then like the season changes the season changes and then it's like now i'm like what the fuck do i do so after the visit it is so warm it is genuinely hot like i'm sweating like I, I'm doing a fall look, but I'm genuinely sweating. This is nuts. It's still super, super warm in Hong Kong, especially like my windows. Holy moly. I'm, I'm gonna use a light nude beige all over to start. I was also like in feeling the Victoria's Secret vibes because of the VS show. Did anyone watch? I did not watch, but I did see the discourse on the TL. Okay, put that all over your eye. Then I'm gonna go in with these grays right here with the same brush. It's kind of like a gray top brown. And I'm just gonna put that on the outer corner. Super, super light. Blend it outwards. I'm also just actually gonna do like a little bit of this, a little bit of back and forth, just to really define that kind of that kind of like flicked out shape. Using a smaller brush, I'm gonna go in with um more like a charcoal too and maybe like mix it with a little bit of brown this is such a go-to fall look i feel i'm gonna actually keep it on that outer and i'm kind of just placing the shadow where i would put like my liner if i was to use a liner then using the blending brush Okay, and essentially I'm going to repeat that process a few times until I've built up that color there. I'm also going to take it up right there and actually maybe using a little bit of like a taupe light brown just to kind of blend it right on the edge. So what you should have is just kind of like a smoked out liner. And if you want to keep it super matte, you could just put like a white shadow like in the center. Which I like to do sometimes when I'm going for like a, a chic fall look. If I'm going for like a, oh, like I'm giving matte, like I'm giving Parisian. But if I want to do something a little bit more like glowy, I go in with um, 
like a sparkle. I don't know sparkle. What's it called? Glitter? Not a glitter. What what are these? Meta not a metallic. I'm missing the word. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with like a silver. A silver, maybe a little bit of pink. Silver and pink. Because I like to have a little bit of that like light pink undertone. I'm just gonna put that um in the center of the lid and in the inner corner. I also am just gonna take my blending brush, this is a little bit more dense, and use like a metallic silver. See that? I'm just gonna use that to marry the shadow that's like on the inner corner with the shadow that's like fading out. It's giving bold, but in a way that is. Cool. Also, just gonna take that on my finger and just pack it right in that center, like where those two colors are meeting. I'm gonna take that gray that we used for the outer corner and just kind of bring that darkness like back in, pull it back out, you know, redefine the shape. Really, it's just about the blending. Really, you just gotta take your time with the blend. There's no way, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You just have to be blending. It's true. I actually like to, when I'm at this stage and I'm using a shadow heavy look, I take my wet wipe and I just kind of clean up that edge because I want to know how the shape of the eye is looking. But I really like the way that looks so far. And obviously, you can just. That's how the eye looks at the moment. I think that I'm not going to add any eyeliner because on the lash line because I want to keep it super bright and everything. So that is the eye done for now. And then I'm going to go in with my concealer. It's also much better to wipe away that excess shadow because when you put the concealer, you don't want it to um, pick up the muddiness underneath. I think a sponge just, it looks so much better with concealer. It's giving glass skin. It's giving, I just went to Gangnam GU Clinic. I just went to Seoul. <laughs> So I like thought about getting, okay, total segue, totally talking about something different now, I'm bored of the last topic. I wanted to get a facial, like I wanted to get a facial, I thought about it, I like researched like all the different places, but you know, I was only there for like a couple of days, so I didn't have that much time. Um, oh my god, this sponge is actually too wet. It's like picking up, wait, this sponge is too wet, it's actually taking off product. Okay, real techniques, flop. Anyway, so yeah, I was in Seoul and I thought about getting a facial, but, you know, and I researched a couple. One that I thought about going to was GU. It was hard to, like, see, like, what reviews were, like, legit, what reviews were just, like, influencers, like, you know, and, like, with the face, you know, in this face economy, in this face card, with this face card, it's like, I can't be, you know, messing around with illegitimate like beauty clinics <laughs> you know i was like i need to be sure what the reviews are giving and none of the reviews were like that like it was hard to research so i didn't end up going but now i'm like oh, maybe i should have gone some laser <laughs> maybe i should have gone a facial i got this new brow pencil i finally got a new brow pencil i got rid of my old um <laughs> Actually, I still have it. I haven't thrown it away. Let me throw it away after this. But, like, I still have my Daiso brow pencil. It was giving dire, like, it was giving, like, the cap had come off and I couldn't find the caps. It was just, like, a free pencil. It was the trenches, you know? And I, when I went to my local Olive Young, 
I was like, you know, it's time for me to get serious. Come on, I said, let's lock in. What was this? Like a dollar? Let's be real. Let's be serious. One of my eyebrows is thicker than the other. I need to fix that later. Go back to the eyes. I'm gonna tight line. That really is giving. I can't lie to you guys. Like that really is giving. You think I look good there? You should. You should see me in the mirror. Okay. Enough games. Light color shadow, I'm going to use that pink and just kind of put that on that inner corner. I just like bringing back that inner corner out, you know? Not too much. Let's go. I got this in Olive Young. I literally, they had a deal, so I got it. And also I needed a new concealer. Oh my god, there's three. Oh my god, that's so cute. They gave me a baby one. That is super cute. I, you know, as a general, oh wow. As a general rule of thumb, I do like ones that are really small because I love to do my bottom lashes. I love, love, love to do my bottom lashes. But with a like, with like, if it's giving like Maybelline, you know, super volume, it's like, I'm like, it's real. Um, it's a real struggle. This is so good. This is so good. Wow. Okay. I love the bottom lashes because I literally I want to look like a Blythe doll. Wow. Um. Blush. Because I want something a little bit more burgundy. So I'm gonna use. Because I want that kind of like rosiness to bring out those plum tones that are in the kind of like purple plum tones that are in the silver. I think that would look really nice. Really take it back into like a fall vibe. For the lip, I want to do something that is really plummy, but also like really glowy. So I have a couple options here, like a Korean lip liner first, because I don't want, I don't want this lip look to be really bold, like I want it to be much more faded. Because I also like, it's hard to overline when you have a gloss. I feel this is a Dinto lip blur glowy lip tint in Dio Valento okay I'm just gonna clean up the edges here I would not mind making it a little bit darker, actually. Okay. Cool. That is the look. Oh my god, it took like 15 hours to finish the lip, but I really like it. Do you like it? Much longer than I expected, but I think it looks really nice. I thought about doing lashes too, but the mascara impressed me so much that I'm not gonna do it. Yeah. Okay. What's it called? What's the brand called again? Okay, this is the final look. 
I love the way the colors work together. And I love this plum lip. Like, I think it was worth, I think it was worth the 15 hours it took. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you for watching. Bye.